Welcome to the first episode of Where to Find, How to Save, and How to Kill. In this episode, we'll be discussing Caligura, one of the many characters in the game of Fear and Hunger Termina. Caligura is located at the start of the game. As soon as you get out of the train and are forced to speak with the others outside, you can go back inside and you'll see Caligura. He's found in day one morning, sitting down in this place, as soon as you leave and then come back in the train. If you leave the screen from here without going back to the train, he will not be here. He also is sitting down on the chair only when you haven't looted the map that is on the chair. At this point of the game, there is no way to kill him properly. If you decide to fight him, everyone is going to grab you and they're going to stun you until day 3 night. So do not kill him here. It is not safe. If you continue to talk to him, he will only push you aside and will move away. There won't be any changes in the story because of this. So you can do this or you can just decide to ignore it. Nothing will change due to this event. You can easily then grab your map if you missed it. Remember to grab it and use it with M on the keyboard or open it with the inventory. It's gonna be very beneficial for you. You can also sleep in the chair where he was sleeping in, in case you're interested in sleeping in the train, which is something that normally people know how to do. The second interaction in the game that can happen, which will happen for two characters in the game, which are gonna be, first of all, Avela, which you can go into the mayor's house and it has to be done in day one morning which is if you decide to sleep in this bed without having to kill the priest that is in the house you're gonna get attacked by Caligura I cannot show this scene because of YouTube of course but you can see what happens I will not explain what it is however this is one way to deal with Caligura at the start of the game so you can have his skills as early as possible this is the only character that can do it day one morning except for the other one which is Marco Marco has the same ability which is he can sleep in this bed however he has to deal with the priest because if he doesn't there is a chance that the priest will wake him up instead of Caligura and if you're wondering if I can or cannot show what happens here between Marco and Caligura well yes I can Caligura will threaten you you have to decide on answering correctly to be able to get out of this one these are the choices that I went for of course if you want to fight him since he's not a difficult foe to fight you can go ahead and just attack him or respond wrong and you'll get into a fight the fight with him is the same with Avela both characters suffer the same fight which is Caligura has a pipe in their arm the rusty pipe is able to stun you with a very low chance and it will stun you for two to three turns but it has a very low chance for you to get stunned Caligura has very low HP in the torso so you can just focus the torso and just win or you can focus the legs and just go for the head afterwards it's up to you how to deal with this fight I would recommend you to just go for the torso or if you have a murky valve just toss it and it might hit the head since it only has a 5% chance for you to miss the head Caligula drops the following items a rusty pipe, a meat pie, a cashmere suit and an egg rusty pipe is able to stun enemies but it has a very low chance like I said before you can use it but I would recommend a wrench if you want to stun enemies which has higher chance and more damage and the cashmere suit is very valuable for you if you're doing a critical chance build cashmere suit gives you 5% evasion which is massive if you're using bow and weave and it also gives you a critical chance of 5% the defense is non-existent since it only gives you 5% evasion and that is it so if you want to be going all out you need this armor the difference between Marco and Avela other than the being new is that this scene can happen in many places I have tested a few places in the game like for example I tested the old apartment's first floor and he didn't show up I tested the second floor of that apartment and he didn't show up I tested the third floor of said apartment and he didn't show up I went to the woodsman's cabin tested with and without the woodsman being alive and he didn't show up where he did show up was at the bookstore so if you don't have access or if you don't know where the mansion is you can go to the bookstore and you can decide to sleep remember to take down the bobby which will wake you up in case you sleep in this bed without having taken them out however if you are woken up by the bobby you will still have the cutscene of Caligula waking you up the second scene that can happen chronologically is Levi Levi has to be found in day one morning over here going down the whole house you will find him stuck down here any kind of question will lead him to run away this might be optional but after this he will be found in day one night and he also will be found in day two morning he will be in Prohibo back alleys going towards the Prohibo west he will be attacked by Caligula if you don't do anything in this scenario Caligula will murder Levi you will have a choice to kill 
can leave it afterwards or do nothing and let it go away. The other choice you have, of course, is to interrupt him before he kills Levi or after he's killed Levi. Both decisions will lead into you getting into a fight with him, having the same fight and the same drops as before. You will not get the soul of Levi if you allow him to kill it. And the last time that you can find Caligura in this is gonna be with the event that happens with Henrik. After having saved Henrik, which I will do a video about it later, you will find both Caligura and Henrik by the lake. This is gonna happen in day two afternoon. If you're not here when this happens, Henrik will lie. Henrik will die. Henrik will be attacked by Caligura and you have the same decision as before that you had with Levi. You can either, but in this time, you can either choose to kill Henrik to get their soul quickly or kill Caligura to get their soul. You can also choose to not do anything and have Caligura kill Henrik, which will not give you any soul. If you decide to interrupt them, Henrik dies. If you do nothing, Henrik dies. You have to attack Caligula yourself. If you attack Henrik, you are put into a fight with Henrik. You can decide to kill whoever is left afterwards to get their soul or leave them be. The fight is the same as before and the drops are the same as before. Now before going into the Moon Scorch form, because it could be a spoiler for some, I will tell you how to save him. So how do you save Caligula? Well, it is easy. Do not let day 2 night arrive. Alright, moving into the Moon Scorch form. Day 2 night is when we have Moon Scorched Caligula. He's gonna be in the sewers, in any kind of sewers where you can see them from the front, he will be popping out like this. If you're close to him, he will catch you. If you're far away from him, when he comes out, he will still catch you. The way that he works is if you step on the tile where Moon Scorched Caligula is bound to see you three times, he will come out from the water and get into a fight with you. You pretty much have three chances to avoid this from happening. The chances seem to reset every now and then once you're away from the sword for long enough, but I haven't really tested how much time you have to wait. Pretty much, you get found three times, you get into a fight with him. However, there is no animation of Caligula coming out from the side. So if he picks his head up, while you're moving from the left or from the right, he will not come out. You will only be lowering the timings of yourself reacting to it. So if you've done this from the side three times, then the next time that he's going to be coming out, he will instantly get into a fight with you if he comes from the top. So make sure to know this. Now, what the heck is this fight, right? So this fight consists of the following status effects. Poison being the most important one to deal with, which is every single time Caligula attacks, he will be puking since turn one, poisoning you and adding nausea. Poison is easily healed after the fight, of course, with a white vial. However, nausea goes away with a white vial as well. But the thing that no one knows about nausea is that it's a status effect that is very scary. It makes you have more chances to miss while it stacks twice on you, giving you less accuracy. But the most important thing that it gives you is less defense but not when you're standing still this only triggers when you're guarding if you guard with nausea you take a lot of damage do not ever ever guard with nausea you will get one shot this fight can be easily taken down with the following ways first of all if you have bleed you must stack bleed with him on the torso and he will die in the second to third turn because bleeding does a lot of damage a thousand hp specifically and it triggers before the second attack of Caligula, which in the second turn he does hanky panky their remaining hands if they have hands they're gonna attack one more time with hanky panky if they are left with no hands they will only do only one hanky panky which are attacks that can easily miss if you blind the torso with glass shards or black smoke poison will only deal 500 damage in case you want to use it and fire will only deal 500 damage and you should be good to go just make sure to not guard the loot of Caligula is nothing. He has nothing when he's moon scorched. You cannot even saw the head because he has no head, as the game tells you. All right, that was the first episode of where to find, how to save, and how to kill. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please make sure to share it around with your friends, like it, and subscribe to the channel. I stream on YouTube as well as Twitch every now and then, so please make sure to follow me over here on my Twitch, A Dark Raccoon, and course make sure to ring the bell down there so you can check when i upload a new video thank you guys so much for being here and as always i will see you later bye bye